The Poison Pixie is here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Anaheim, California, Candace LeRae. I don't get it. Candace used to be beloved, right? She was known as Candace Wrestling, and now she's somebody completely different. That's because being nice never got Candace to the top of NXT. Now that's where she exists, along with The Way. Has come. Competed in war games, TLC, street fight matches, ready for anything. She's even competed against the likes of, get this, Kevin Owens and Cesaro before joining WWE. This woman is the real deal. And from Tokyo, Japan, one half of the Women's Tag Team Champions. The Superstar! Guys, this match has the potential to completely change the WWE landscape, and it's because of this level of talent involved. Title defense or not, she will always leave it all in the ring. And this is a woman that has had a lot of talk around her. A lot of people wondering if the hype around her is warranted. Yeah, and this is now her opportunity to justify all that hype. An opportunity to show why she's been creating such a buzz. A win here could do just that. Then you have Candice LeRae, someone who went from being the type of competitor praised for her enduring spirit to now someone who stabs friends in the back to get ahead. The sad thing is, she has too much talent to be taking so many shortcuts. Well, praise and friends don't pay the bills now, do they, Saxton? Candace came to the necessary realization that the only way that truly works is the Gargano way, okay? So she needs to rely on herself, and that's it. A fine change, if you ask me. As unpleasant as Candice LeRae has been since she started following the Gargano way, you cannot deny how talented she is in the ring, Corey. How would you suggest gaining the upper hand against a veteran like LeRae, especially when you factor in her willingness to break the rules at times? Overpower her. Look, Candice LeRae's a heck of a competitor, as tough as they come, but she's still, as you would say, cold pint-sized and can easily be treated as such. LeRae can get it done in the ring, and I happen to think the Gargano way is second to none, but more often than not, Candace can't win when it comes to size, power, and strength. Climbing to the top rope. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. To the sky. Oh, oh God. The Gargano way not exactly helping Candace out there. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. LeRae creates an opportunity. Double stop. She had it scouted. Ooh, well measured. Hoist it all the way up. Brave oh, Duster. Well, I gotta tell you, I thought this superstar. Oh, and that comeback gets shut down. I guess that's one way to incite your opponent. Tossed into the corner. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. High risk. Get him to the fame with an elbow drop. She got the shoulders down. One, two. Almost had her. This is where desperation becomes a factor. Time to pull out all the stops. She's got an answer for that. 
Saxton, but this one was tougher than most. 